time to amp up. Part right here. Right here's the good part. Oh! 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 That guy, the, the Florida State guy, back. You know, he needs to stay out of Clemson. All right, what's up, Clemson Nation? Guys, <clears> hate <throat> week has gotten heated. And uh, here's the thing. The Typers have gotten to the Florida State fans, and they've gotten to them big time. Yeah, they have. So, you know, they've pushed them over the edge. Let's take a look. M. Cassidy, you're up first, buddy. Wow. Just... Fucking wow. I honestly didn't think it would only take overnight for you Clemson fans to push me to the point of making two hate week videos in two days. But congratulations, you did it. You're the first people to ever do it. Just the fucking idiocy and incompetence to think logically and spout good reasoning as to why you think your team can even be FSU is just has fucking pushed me over the edge. I'd say they're pissed. I'd say they're pissed. Uh, so, that was in Cassidy. He came out with his first, and then Nolesbiker comes out with his last night, and he is more pissed. He's gotten delusional on us. He's gotten delusional on us. Let's take a few looks at some of, some of the stuff he said last night. Clemson, y'all. Y'all suck. Clemson is not good. You know, quit flexing, Clemson. Y'all are not. You know, you beat Auburn, and then you, and then Clemson, or based Clemson, the new kids talking about you know, Florida State, they're overrated because they haven't beaten anybody. Okay, you guys beat Auburn. We played better against Oklahoma than you guys did against Auburn. We had a more respectable weekend. And you almost lost to Wofford, dude. You almost lost to Wofford, and you trailed to Troy in the first half. So you guys ain't nothing. Clemson's finishing third in the Atlantic Division. You know, I'm more worried about Maryland than I am worried about Clemson. Clemson ain't. Clemson is horrible. Taj Boyd was the best quarterback in the ACC. Are you kidding me? He's gone against Auburn's horrible defense, Wofford, and Troy. And you're going to put him up there. You know, Ja'Cory Harris is a better quarterback as of right now than Taj Boyd. Yes, he's done two interceptions, but... Corey Harris is a better quarterback. I'd rather have him start for my team than I would Taj Boyd. And EJ Manuel is a better quarterback than Taj Boyd. I don't care what you say. Logan Thomas is a better quarterback than Taj Boyd. Sean Renfrey at Duke. Um, Danny O'Brien at Maryland. And what's his name? Brent Renner at uh, North Carolina are all better quarterbacks than Taj Boyd. Taj Boyd is not a good... I mean, look at this. You guys run a Sunbelt offense of like... Spread it out just like Auburn does. That takes no quarter. I mean, that does not take any. I mean, any quarterback skill really. I mean, now I know. I know Nolesbiger. I know you were pissed at the time. They were getting to you. I know. Um, because I know you didn't mean all that stuff you said, and I I just had to respond to this because it has gotten out of control. First of all, you said, "Why is Florida State favored?" Then they're not favored. Clemson's favored now. It's switched. I don't know if it's changed back, but we were the two point. Two and a half point favorites last time I checked. Uh, you know, and and to say that you're, you're just acting like Clemson's nothing. We're going to come to this game. First of all, we always play better against Florida State than any other ACC opponent because half of our players are from Florida. And they love beating Florida State. They've done it three out of the last five times, and they've done it four times straight at home. Another thing, Florida State is overrated, and it's not because you have, don't have any quality wins. Because Florida State was, I mean, Oklahoma was the number one team. And that's, I mean, it's a tough game. Here's the thing: you were a top five team. 
if you were a top five team at home, you would have beat Oklahoma. You're not a top five team, Florida State. You're not. I you, you can kid yourself, but you're not a top five team. You're overrated, and everybody in the country knows that now. That doesn't mean you're not a good football team. That just means you're not a top five team. Now, Oklahoma, they're, they're, I don't think they're going to win the national championship. <laughs> I don't. Uh, they, they'll, I don't know if they'll make it to the national championship. Now, they're a great football team, and it's a respectable loss. But to say that it's a more respectable losing to them than it was for us to beat Auburn is hilarious. Who's getting all the media attention right now? It's not Florida State. It's Clemson getting all the media attention right now. Nobody's talking about Florida State right now. And most people are predicting Florida State to lose to Clemson. I know that doesn't mean anything, but uh, we are going to come into this game playing our asses off. And we want this win. I think, you know, Florida State needs it. They really need this win. The Clemson might want this win more at home. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I just don't see, you know, y'all acting like you're still a number. You're acting like you're still number five team. You're not. You're not really even a top ten team. I don't know if you're the best team in the ACC right now. And, yes, the injuries are killing you. If you had your team completely healthy, y'all might have beat Oklahoma. That's a fact. But you don't right now, so you're not a top five team, and you you're not going to beat Clemson. And uh, as far as Knowles Blogger, you said uh, we run our easy Taj Boyd. Taj Boyd. Mm. No, I'm not saying he's the best quarterback in the ACC. I know some of the other Tiger fans might have, but I'm not. But he's not close to one of the worst, and I would take him over most of them. He's vers He's he's got ability. He's, he can run between the blocks that he's not made for a scrambling quarterback. He's a pocket passer. But he has been on target this year. The stats don't lie. I don't care who we're playing against. No, we're not playing against Oklahoma. But, it, and it's, you know, maybe last year if he was thrown at the same wide receivers, they would have dropped it. Our wide receivers this year are playmakers. Are you seeing some of the catches they're making? That has nothing to do with the defense. Some of the catches that Dwayne Allen they're making and that Hopkins made, you couldn't stop that. That was just a great throw and a great catch. It doesn't matter. You wouldn't have been there. It was a great catch, and that's going to happen against you. It's going to happen against you. You're not going to stop that unless you're sacking Boyd every time, and that's not going to happen either. And this offense, this Sun Belt offense that's so easy to throw out of, you know, it's a smart offense. We keep you on your heels. We keep you tired. We're in the hurry-up offense, you know? Is it easier? Well, you know, y'all are all, fall the, the defense is not ever, re they're not ready some of the time, so that we'll have more people open because we're in a hurry up offense and we run plays, just confuse the defense. And of course, you know, he's gonna have more people open in this offense because that's because we're confusing you. It's not an easier offense to run. It's a pretty hard offense. You have to have all the, you know, it's, it's not too many actual plays, but just all the fakes and all the, you know, formations you have to set up in, it's a tough, to remember, you saw we messed up a little bit at the end against Auburn. But to say that it's an easy offense and you take all those people, I know you were delusional. I know you were just pissed right there. Because 10 touchdowns and one interception versus the way that some of the other ones are playing. Ja'Cory Harris, are you, are you kidding me? That kid sucks. He's an interception machine. If I would, I'd take our backup over Ja'Cory Harris. And yes, I'd keep Taj Boyd over E.J. Manuel right now. E.J. Manuel's a great quarterback. Has he proved himself, you know, better than Taj this year? He's been hurt. He hasn't had a chance to. I think our offense is without a doubt better than Florida State's offense. Their defense is without a doubt better than our defense. But here's the thing. Our def our, your, de your offense is, is, is made for us to run against it, for us to compete with it. You're not an option type, just, you know, you're just not the type of team that's going to run all over us. Our defensive line got it together at the end of the Auburn game against a good Auburn defense. Uh, you know, Thompson, you know, these same people, they were playing better last year. Uh, they just got to get it together. Andre Branch, uh, Brennan Thompson, you know, even Crawford coming in as the freshman. They'll get it together. Our line is good like it always is. Now, the cornerback with, like, you know, the, play, the players in the backfield, you know, Stephon Anthony, maybe he'll come back and have some key plays again on defense like he did earlier this year. Uh, Cody Sensiball, he, he dropped that one interception, but he made up for it. You know, we might get some interceptions. You can't just be throwing it deep on us, like some of y'all think. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I'm loving the fact that 
well, you know, not as much as the Tigers are getting to y'all, but that y'all are just so cocky about this game. I just, I pray that your team is as cocky as y'all are, because you're going to get beat in the Valley if you are. I mean, I pray y'all are as cocky. I've never come to a game seeing Florida State fans so cocky at Clemson, where you haven't won since 2001. We're going to keep that streak that way. Never seen it. So let's keep hate re-rolling, because y'all have gotten delusional on me. Go Tigers.